Taking his first steps on his ancestral land, an eastern black rhino, one of five flown into the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania from South Africa. Poached nearly to extinction in the 70s and 80s, the relocation of 32 rhino over the next two years is one of the biggest such projects ever undertaken and is seen as crucial to their survival. It'll take at least a year for them to, to get integrated into the Serengeti. So they, the habitat for them is fantastic. It's champagne for rhinos, basically. But they've got to get used to the dry season. They've got to find water in the dry season. And they're going to be exposed to sleeping sickness for the first time in their lives as well. Earlier, the rhinos arrived by Hercules and were then taken by a truck to a remote area of the park. They'll initially be kept in an enclosure and when ready, set free to roam across the land where previous generations thrived. The president of Tanzania was one of hundreds of people to welcome them to the Serengeti. This event is a stark reminder of what went wrong in the past and a lesson about what needs to be done to prevent it from happening again. In the 1960s, seven eastern black rhinos were moved from Kenya to South Africa. The 32 making the return journey are their descendants. Paid for by the Singita Grometi Reserves, several organisations were involved in the project. It has the potential to impact upon the Serengeti ecosystem as a whole and uh, as one of the primary, one of the more important world heritage sites, I think that's a huge achievement. The biggest threat they'll now face is from poachers. In the 1970s, over 700 lived in the park. By 1991, only two remained. Now there are 33, but poaching is once again rearing its ugly head. We have a very special ranger force, which has been especially trained for this job. We have done all the necessary preparations to make sure that these animals will be safe. The rangers will guard the new arrivals 24 hours a day to make sure these magnificent animals are given the protection they need and a chance to make a proper start in the land that was once theirs.